Here's a few secrets about frying fish that you need to keep in mind. If you have a fried daddy like this and you use it instead of propane, so on and so forth, if you look at your temperature gauge that you set on here, we won't mention name brands or anything right. like that because they're all about the same. If you set this, say, on 215 and you put a candy thermometer in here, or Kelly says she actually uses a laser sometimes, yeah. you'll find sometimes 20, 30 degrees difference wow. in temperature. So you do not want to go, I don't ever go above 350 degrees with my oil, it could start right. to burn. So I start cooking at about 320, and you'll see the temperature go down a little bit if you've got some really cold stuff. Yeah. But I really like to keep it around now. You don't want to just burn it up. I'm going to show you, should I show my secret? I don't know, you sure? It's, it's pretty amazing. Something happens when you have a cornmeal fish batter cornmeal and flour, you can right. go half and half, three quarters one, three quarters that, depends on how you want to do it. You can buy a pre-mixed one, but there's a secret to begin all this whole process. Now, you're saying, I don't like mustard. You're not going to taste the mustard. It'll give it just a little bit of, just a little bit of bite. It's nothing it's bad at all. It makes it really good. I'm going to use equal parts. Now, this is not a real hot sauce. It's a salsa picante. It's a, this is a tapati. I've used that for years. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to mix it up. Now the bluegill didn't last long, so we got some catfish out. But this will work with any type of fish that, you, that you're using a dry batter on. So I'm going to take my pieces of fish. Again, the bluegill didn't last long, so we right. took some catfish that we caught. We're going to take this out and we're going to just roll it lightly in equal parts mustard and hot sauce. Then we're going to take it and put it in our dry batter. Then we're going to drop it in the hot oil. We're going to re-release the fish. Okay. It's catch and release. <laughs> and we're going to let it go until it browns and floats. You know, it has a tendency when you first put it in right. the sink. But you'll know about, uh, you know, it doesn't take very long, four or five minutes maximum. You'll know by looking at it. All right, here we okay. are. Look at that. Golden brown. Beautiful. Just look at that color. Is that That's not good. beautiful? Mm -hmm. And somebody out there saying, look at the bugs flying around. <laughs> well, that's what happens at night. Mm -hmm. They don't bother us. In fact, if they get in the way, we might just eat them. That's right. You go ahead and I'll watch. I ain't scared. All right. All right. Look at that beautiful brown, golden. That looks really good. Catfish. I like to make them my catfish in little mm -hmm. chunks. I don't want a big honking piece of catfish. I like a piece wow. of this size. Try it and see what's going on. It's a little bit hot. Mm. I love your coating. You like it? It's really good. Does it make you happy? That's your secret coating, isn't it? I like that. Mm. Wow. It's really good. Oh, wow. You know what? If you saw the show and you thought, hey, I'd like to try that recipe, well, more than likely, right after we take this off the air, we put it on timfarmerscountrykitchen.com. Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Right. We got 80, 100,000 gazillion recipes wow, over that's there. That's a lot. Take a look over there, hit subscribe. Mm -hmm. That way, we'll send you a notice when something new comes out. If you want to be our Facebook friend, how would you do that? You go on and hit like. Like, that's it. You know what? A half hour's up. It's that's over. It, it, was a, it was a really fun show. We were all over the place. Now we have to eat. That's right. This is our Andrew and Andrew. They look right hungry. Over there. They, look they look hungry. hungry. They got to try some of this fish. It's all about good times. Good friends. And really good eats. You did good. Catfish. Good stuff. See you next week on a brand new Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Mm -hmm.